Hey there, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing and trying out this tube sander that I got off Amazon. Okay, so whenever I get metal in, it comes in with a little bit of mill scale or rust on it that needs to be cleaned off thoroughly before it can be welded. So that's primarily what this is gonna be used for. Got some belts here. This here uses an inch and a half by 30 inch belt. So this here is an assortment pack of different grit belts, all the way from coarse up to pretty fine. It does this pack here is a pack of 10 120 grit. Got some extra motor brushes here. Comes with a 60 grit belt. Okay, so here it is. It's a little bigger than what I thought it was going to be in person. Um, this is variable speed, has a dial on the back to be able to set your speed on it. So I'm gonna get a belt installed and give this thing a try and see how it works. I'm gonna start off with one of these 120 grit belts. Um, this here is spring loaded. It seems like that's pretty much the only adjustment on it for getting the belts on and off. So we'll give it a shot here and see how easy it is to change belts. Well, right off the bat, it looks like this belt is too big. Um, I'm sure there might be some sort of adjustment on here. Uh, there's also an arrow on the belt sander, and then there's also an arrow inside the belt. So I'll just have to make sure that's lined up. Check real quick to see if there's any adjustments that need to be made to this for a larger belt. Okay, so the issue is it doesn't seem like this arm is going all the way back to keep tension on the belt. You can see if I push it forward, it only comes back to about there whenever it should go back to here. So I'm gonna try loosening up this bolt here that holds this arm on and seeing if that will make that stop binding. Okay, so I had to pull this arm off. This here is a shoulder bolt, but it's not threaded into the arm itself. Okay, so the one thing I found out is if I do tighten this nut too much on the bottom, it will bind. As soon as I loosened it up a little bit, it stopped binding. So with that being cleaned out and the nut not so tight, it's actually functioning like it should now. So let's throw the belt on and we'll see if it actually fits now. Line up the arrows. Okay, that's still pretty loose where that's not even spinning the sander, so I'm gonna have to try to do something else. It's almost like the spring just isn't strong enough. So what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to put this in the vise 
and just try to open this spring up a little bit more so it'll provide more tension to get this arm all the way back. Okay, so just to show you what I'm gonna do, I put the short side of the spring in the vise. I'm gonna put a bolt through here and then I'm just gonna unwind this some. Um, Okay, so I ended up taking this arm off. I cleaned everything up inside. I put it back together. I tightened it up and it was still binding. So what I did was I took this spring off here and I put it in the vise and I opened it up more so it has more spring pressure and now it snaps back super fast. So that solved the issue. Um, it's a little bit disappointed that it came out of the box not working, but let's try this belt on and see if it actually tightens up this time. So now you can see it actually tightens up like it's supposed to. So let's give this thing a try, get it plugged in, and start cleaning up some tubing. Okay, so I got some tube here. You can see it's pretty dirty. We're going to clean it up and see how this goes. Okay, so the settings go 1 through 6 on here. That was setting 6, which seemed extremely fast. So I'm going to put it on setting 1 and see how it does. As you could see, that did a really nice job sanding and cleaning that tube. This is just regular mild steel. <clears throat> you can see what it was before and what it is after. So I'm pretty happy with that. As you saw in the video, I had some issues whenever I first took it out of the box with the tensioning arm not tensioning the belt. I had to take it apart, I cleaned everything, put everything back together, tightened it up, it still was binding, it wasn't retracting all the way, so I ended up taking it apart again. I took the spring off and I actually extended and kind of bent the spring back even more to have more spring pressure and that definitely did the trick. Uh, the only complaint I could say is if you do press too hard on the belt to get the belt to wrap around the tube more, it does slip on the driver, I guess you would call it, that spins the belt. But um, if that's the only issue I'm having, I could definitely live with that. Uh, to buy one of these that are professional grade are thousands upon thousands of dollars. So this here was a couple hundred dollars and if I had to fix a spring on it and kind of dial it in a little bit that's definitely a win instead of spending a lot more money on something that I'm not going to be using every day okay so I just had a quick thought whenever I unpackaged this you could see that the tension arm was zip tied together to fit in the package better I'm guessing that that might have weakened the spring by sitting compressed fully for so long. Uh, who knows how long this sat in the package before I actually got it from the date it was manufactured. So that is one thing that may have contributed to the problem. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any questions about this tube sander, leave it in the comments and I'll catch you next time. Later.